guys, it's Danica here. How to purify your liver, kidneys, and pancreas fast. So this isn't gonna be some like, eat this superfood and all your organs are magically gonna be cleaned out or go on a six day juice fast and your liver is going to be magically cleaned out. That is not what this video is going to be. It's going to be actual evidence-based ways to maintain optimal health of all of these organs. So the best way to clean out these organs is to actually stop consuming the things that are clogging them in the first place. So I went and did some research to find out what causes the disease of all of these organs, then what you can do to prevent clogging these organs up and then how to clean them out fast, but also in a sustainable way that's actually going to give you permanent, long lasting results instead of a quick fix and then you revert back to your old lifestyle habits and basically end up with the same problems again. So let's start off with the kidneys. So right away when you think of kidney issues, you think right away kidney stones. Well, if you actually do research as to what actually causes kidney stones, they have found that people who consume the most meat have a much higher risk of getting kidney stones. So they did a study and they found that if you're vegetarian, you're half as likely to get kidney stones as opposed to someone who eats meat. So the best way to prevent getting kidney stones is just to not eat meat. And when, if you do get kidney stones, keep in mind that the doctors will advise you to cut your meat consumption down dramatically in order to alkalize the urine. So I'm not gonna go into any theories as to why I think eating meat causes kidney stones, but I'm just letting you know that meat eaters are much more likely to get kidney stones. Next, let's move on to the pancreas. So right away when you think pancreas, you think diabetes. And diabetes is one of the leading causes of death in the modern world nowadays. And you might be wondering what actually causes it. You might think, oh, well it's sugar. And there's no denying that refined sugar does have a role in causing diabetes. And what they're actually finding is that too much fat is what causes diabetes. So if you eat too much saturated fat, you get raise levels of what are called free fatty acids. What they're finding is that these free fatty acids damage beta cells and beta cells from your pancreas are actually what deal with the insulin in your body. So they are finding that when people consume large amounts of saturated fat, they can literally see the impairment of your pancreas like hours later. And they also found that meat spikes your insulin just as much as pure white sugar. So meat is another fuel to the fire of diabetes. So that's just the latest research. I'm going to be linking all these studies down below for you guys. Next, let's move on to the liver. So right away, actually when I think of liver diseases, I literally just think of alcoholics. But anyways, it's totally possible to have non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is actually the leading cause of chronic liver disease in the U.S. So what causes non-alcoholic fatty liver disease? <laughs> it has been associated with the higher consumption of soft drinks and meat they found is associated with liver, liver damage. Then also what they found is that Cholesterol is actually really, really bad for your liver. So in a study of about 9,000 adults over a 13 year period in the US, they found a strong association between dietary intake of cholesterol and hospitalization and death from the cirrhosis of the liver or liver cancer. So cholesterol is strongly, strongly associated with liver damage, clogging your liver up, giving you liver cancer and cirrhosis, which is scarring of the liver. So basically, it's funny because all of the things that cause all these problems in your organs are actually animal products. So I'm gonna list charts here of the largest sources of saturated fat and cholesterol.
So as you can see, most of it is animal products, eggs, butter, meat, poultry. These things the studies are finding are more and more associated with damaging your organs. So I just thought that I would share that information with you guys. This is a really sustainable way to help to clean out your organs and to actually keep them clean. Not a quick fix. It's definitely a long-term lifestyle change, but it would definitely benefit you in the long run because you're seriously reducing your risks for any of these future diseases of these organs. Okay guys, I hope that this information helps. Like I said, I'm gonna link all the sources below so you can investigate for yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.